go for another one? Yeah. The centipede is like the world as we know it. And the spider is like the man. We're taking control of the situation. That's MCA records. This is Polymer. And that's the band. Look. See? Now, we already took care of MCA. Now we're taking control of Polymer. And then we're going to go international. Music has been their life since they came out of their mother's belly. Music has been their passion. Music was part of the situation. Always music. I remember always party scene at the house. I remember being little, trying to go to sleep, and there was like the floor was vibrating in my bedroom, you know? If you be my ditchy chicken, I'll be your Tennessee land. I don't know, I guess that was like our, my introduction to music and like the music scene was like everybody just having a good time. I met Chitter first, I'll say first grade. Matt and I go back to second grade. I think we say second, but I, I, I think I remember first grade actually. I met Noah early high school. The first band I ever played in was with Maddie, was the singer of the band and we did all like Pearl Jam covers and stuff. What was the name of the band? Seed. And of course, there was the, the 90s grunge explosion, so we were, you know, playing some grunge music. We were really, like, broadening our, uh, our horizons of music, trying different stuff, and just growing up together. We had Chitter, Maddie, Noah, and Justin totally split different ways. And then one, by one by one, they wind up in Burlington, Vermont. Had a campsite for about two weeks in, uh, out on the lake in Burlington. We set up Tarp City, and uh, I think it was like a month of camping, I think. We got shit jobs and uh, got an apartment in the city. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Noah and I started doing uh, coffee shop open mic things. It was really cool, you know, do the harmonies and people seemed to really dig it. We kind of stopped doing that a little bit. Maddie smashed his finger in a freak uh, front end loader accident. So our whole, like, you know, duo, coffee shop duo was fucking smashed. You know, soon after that, my brother moved up here. And Chad moved up here. I quit my job, moved to Vermont to play rock and roll. I remember way, way back, like before it was even a thought, like the four of us played, and it, you know, it sounded like absolute ass. I, I wasn't too excited about the the initial like first two get-togethers. But there was one, maybe one 10 second slot when we were jamming, I was like, wow, there it is. Sleek and velvet carpet in the wind. She's my baby. You know, I guess it sums up as good time, working man, beer drinking music. Something that everybody can relate to, it, you know, that has a job or it's like likes music or uh, just likes to have a cold beer, you know? <laughs> on this road, two miles long, you the sort of music we play isn't like a huge, uh, in this area, there's not, like everyone's not into that necessarily. So, you know, our feelings and a lot of people's feelings are, you know, that we should, we should go out. This is Chitch's almost final concert before they go off to a big summer tour. 
the whole idea of this, like the summer tour, going out on the road and doing that, is brought about by the big gig of the summer tour thing that we got is that High Sierra Music Festival. Let me see if I can get you a festival. You know, just one. All right, yeah. <laughs> can I swear on this thing? Really? I really had no fucking clue what I was doing. We thought, well, hell, if we're driving out there, we might as well try to get a bunch of gigs in between. I know that we're still gonna go play places where there's, you know, there could be four people in there. Then we'll go play High Sierra and there's thousands of people and maybe some people will be over to check us out. Yesterday. Nobody in the band has a safety net or some kind of resource of this, that, like, as backup, you know? It's like full throttle, bunny years out of your pockets, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're doing it because we love it. Yeah, I'm not going to come back with this huge summer tour paycheck or nothing, you know? <laughs> You're not going to get, like, a golden road laid out for you. It's, you got to pave your way. I'm with my family. My brother playing music that I love, and it's like, why not try? I'd hate it to be like, what if I did go on the road that summer, and what if I was able to play bass and pay my rent? <laughs> you know, like that, I couldn't live with. So it's like, I gotta find out at least. Plus, we're gonna see every Taco Bell in the country, and that's a huge thing for us. <laughs> Yeah.